It's her heart to wash away But I don't care too much for late theatrics I find it too hard to focus on what you say Don't let your big boots drag you down there's a revolver pointed at your heart, you pray it jams. It won't, but you fucking pray anyway. Socrates said, death is the greatest of all human blessings. You think he thought that when he was executed for being a pedophile? Now get off your fucking phone, I got a story to set up. So back in the 1800s, this town was known for two things, gold and whores. They don't have whores anymore. But gold? That they still produce more of than anywhere in the country. That gold? That's why I'm here. Tom's also haunted as hell, but ghosts aren't real, so who gives a shit? Where are my manners? My name is Ben. I'm 26 years young, single, and was voted most likely to flunk out of high school. And guess what? I did. Who needs a diploma when you got a face like this? Was I conceited? I was conceited. Whatever, touch me. So here's the deal. I came to this little gold town in Southern Teller County to pull a job. Now, this particular job, I can't do on my own. And as Lady Luck would have it, I have family here. Close family. You know, in retrospect, I do feel bad about bringing her in. Just... Fuck it, I'm rambling. Just watch. So hell, she's not my sister. <laughs> there you go, boys. Anything else? Yeah. That ass, right here, now. <laughs> I've been watching you all night. You want me. You uh, can't stop thinking about us bumping uglies, can you? Come here. You tell me the date on that penny without moving the shot glass, and this ass is all yours. <laughs> this is Annie, my sister. A real fucking lady. Ow! Oh, you stupid bitch, I'm gonna kill you! Cry me, asshole! We better get out of here for more accidents start happening. Better go tell Charlie. You got it, kiddo. Look, I haven't exactly been a good brother. Last time I saw my sister, I may have borrowed her car. Without asking. Indefinitely. I didn't screw her over on purpose, it just, you know, happened that way. But she's always had a bad memory. Hi, Annie. <laughs> oh, man. You got serious balls showing your face here. Mm, don't you want to know why I'm here? I'd love to know when you're leaving. The bar looks... nice. You want it? I'm selling it. Selling it, huh? I do actually need the bar. I mean, to use it while you still have it. For what? There's this guy, Paul No Balls. 
Paul no balls. Works for a small time fish wannabe gangster from back east, all right? Paul got drunk and told Kyle that he got a job with this gangster guy going out to Colorado. It's gonna be a big payday. Big. Kyle told me and now I'm telling you. I don't want anything to do with you. Fucking Kyle, or this. You don't exactly have a great track record. <laughs> Like? My car, totaled. All my boyfriends, you chased away. I chased it. You shit with the door open. You know how many times I thought about you since the last time you crawled back into my life? Zero, probably. Zero. Not once. It's been fucking sublime. I'd like to keep it that way. All right, fine. All right, you made your point. I'll get out of your hair. Oh, by the way, the, uh, the take is She will be. Bingo. No, it's a slot machine. No, you fucking idiot, Annie. We meet her in 20 minutes, all right? Get your shit together and get ready. You smell like cat piss. You smell like dog piss. Sit down, boys. Excuse you? Annie's in the john. Take a seat. You're Annie's friend from earlier, right? David. Dave. Can I call you Dave? Blow me. <laughs> David. I'm Ben. This is Kyle. We've got some business to discuss with my sister, so I appreciate the little uh, gimmick you're doing here, but uh, it's you not You like really to run your mouth a lot, don't you? I used to know a $3 whore down in Mexico that used to do the same thing. $3, huh? How's your T-cell count? Ben, Kyle, so you've met David? Yeah. Hey, Ed, <laughs> how's your cat? Get to the plan, Chief. All right, so there's a deal going down tomorrow. So Paul Noballs is driving his employer, small-time gangster by the name of Mr. Leonard. He's swapping gold for cash with some hillbilly motherfuckers up in the mountains. What the fuck? Totally anyway, totally when the swap is done, I bring Paul and Mr. Leonard back to the bar, get him a little tipsy, and swap the bag of gold out for a bag of, uh, not gold. I'll see him off. Once they're gone, Annie gets her cut. Kyle and I disappear. Good enough? What stops him from coming back to the bar? Back to Annie? That's a beautiful thing. I take all the blame. By the time they figure it out, Kyle and I would be long gone. What's our cut? What do I look like, the employment office? We need Annie, that's David's it. it's part of the deal. Take it or leave it. Come on. All right, we're done here. No, 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 no. Let me talk to my associate for a minute. Come on. You sure you want this? I don't trust either one of those morons. Tell me about it. It's a lot of money, though. The bar's a lost cause at this point. We really don't even have to do anything. We just facilitate. But I get it if you don't want in. You got Granite Peak to head back to. Montana's not going anywhere. I appreciate the gesture, kiddo, but I'm gonna stick around for this one. 12%, 15, 12%, 12%, 12%, 12%, 12%, 12%, 12%, 12%, 12%, 12%, 12%, 12%, 12%, 12%, 12%, 12%, 12%, 12%, 12%, 12%, 12%, 12%, 12%, 12%, 12%, 
50 grand. 150. <laughs> Fuck off. Pay it or walk. A hundred. All right. Don't fuck this up. So what now? Now, my son, you call Paul, we get a good night's sleep, because tomorrow I got a fish to impress. Fuck this. Let's get a drink. You the guy? The guy? Look, if you're the guy, great, okay? And if you're not, fuck off. <laughs> yeah, I'm the guy. The guy for the thing? Yeah, Jesus, are you fucking kidding me? Mr. Leonard wants to meet you. No shit, that's why I'm here. <clears throat> the man sneaking up behind me is Mr. Leonard. He's the one meeting the hillbilly motherfuckers up in the mountains, and he is our mom. Now, what Kyle and I failed to mention last night was that I haven't actually gotten into the car yet. That puts this meeting very high on the do not fuck this up list. Uh -huh. Oh, shit. Mr. Leonard, it's a pleasure to meet you. Hey, Paul here says that you got sandpaper grit. So I'm offering you an opportunity most people don't get a shot at. Yes, sir, I know that. I won't let you down. No, don't do that. I fucking hate that. My ex-wife does that. All right, all right. It won't happen again. What did I just say? Look, before we go any further, I need to know something. All right, shoot. You a Jew? Just for the record, I am Jewish. Look, it's the son of Abraham. That's a fucking yes or a fucking no. No. See, I fucking knew it. I fucking know you, you fucking Gentile. I know what you do. I know how you operate. Hell, I only met you five seconds ago. I already fucking hate you. That's a waste of my fucking time. You... Kyle said you were wise with it. What the fuck was that? Did you not see my face? Yes, I saw your face. What was that? Are you Jewish? No. My foreskin's intact. But he doesn't know that. Get the fuck out of my face. Are you the Jewish? Fuck? What? No. Can you pretend to be? Oh, what the God. fuck happened? Are you I okay? didn't get in. I didn't get in. Oh God, dude, the meeting's in two fucking hours. What the hell did you do? I said I wasn't Jewish. What? I know you're fucking rabbi. Yeah, I lied in the wrong direction. All right, put that on. Shit. So I need you, Kyle the fucking Philistine. Okay. Pretend you're Jewish for five fucking minutes, man. 
That's it. I'm it. All right. Good. I'm all gonna lost, man. Exactly. Just like Moses in the desert. Wait, baby. Moses or Jesus? Moses. They're both dudes. Both California. Dudes. Dude, California. Dude. There you go. There you go. Get it off your beard. Get it off your beard. Shoes. Yeah, it doesn't matter. You're gonna do great, honey. Okay. Love you. Fucking Philistine. Shit. What if we. They're already on their way. I know, goddammit. I'm sorry. What direction do they go? I don't know. Northwest? Heading out of town? Southwest? I'm not a fucking boy scout. Give me your keys. <sighs> what are you gonna do? I'm gonna find them. <sighs> You're fucking Ugh. degenerate. Ugh. What are they inbred? Uh, get out. Let me out of the car, will you? You come to us! I don't talk to people through windows. Uh, get out. Open the door, will you? Those fucking bombs. You must be Wyatt. Let's do some business, shall we? Jesus fucking Christ. You boys have been busy, huh? See, the thing about the gold here, it isn't in nuggets like I thought. It's in small, almost invisible veins inside the rock. And the only way to extract it is with cyanide. Yeah, that cyanide. Once it's been crushed, soaked, and then dried, what you're left with is dust. Extremely valuable dust. You got a deal. You got the cash? Look, I gotta take this back, make sure it's legit. You'll get your money soon. I'm gonna have to disagree. Oh, you fucking Gentiles, goddamn your blood. Did you really think that I was gonna come out here carrying that kind of cash on me? Okay, look, I don't know you, but you know me. More importantly, my reputation. 
Trust goes both ways where I come from. Mister, you ain't where you come from. <laughs> you know, you're pretty stiff for a couple of hillbillies. You have no idea. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh. Oh. Leonard? Where the hell is Paul? You motherfuckers. Good day, Father. Jesus fucking Christ. Kyle! Kyle! Fuck is this guy? No shit.
fucking move. Oh, hey now, buddy. Drop the gun. Easy now. Are you a priest? Sometimes. What? Take the gun to me. Right now. Come on! Oh. Jesus, what the hell did you do? You told me to kick a loaded gun. Shit, no, stay down. <laughs> Why are you following me? You took something that doesn't belong to you. Shit. Yeah. I can't have you following me. I'm sorry. Oh, God damn it! Give me your shoes! No! Now! Socks too! I'm not fucking around! Where the fuck have you been? Kyle said you didn't get in. We didn't get in. And it doesn't matter anyways, because I got the shit. What the hell is that? The shit! That does not look like gold. It's unsmelted. Oh, so all we have to do is smelt it. Don't look at me. Yeah, 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 smelt that shit! Are you a gold expert now? What the fuck is that? What the fuck is what? Oh, that. Whose blood is that? Jesus Christ, What happened, man? man? They fucking killed him! They killed who? Where? They're in the cemetery. They fucking ran out of the woods. They shot at me. That fucking bang, bang, bang. I shot at them. Bang. Now I'm here. Did they see you? Yeah, they saw me. They fucking shot at me. But I got the shit, so I don't see what the big fucking problem is. How many were there? Two. Maybe three, I think. You think? Look, I handled it. Oh. Shit! Fuck! This is your fucking fault, you fucking asshole! Fuck you. What the hell are we gonna do with this? They take it to Bill tomorrow. Bill? Really? Karaoke Bill? Yeah, he's been prepping for the end of the world for a while. He believes in the three Gs. God, guns, and lucky for us, gold. No, that's good. From now on, we call the shots. Right on. So this is supposed to be worth half a million bucks, huh? I guess. You guess, you ass. Listen, ass face, people die for this shit. You oh, three dollars now, shut when I'm go. talking. Ah. 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 I could snuff you out. Oh, you'd like that, wouldn't you? So you could have Anne to your pervy ass self. You vomit that ah. shit again, I'll put you so deep in the ground the fucking worms won't be able to find you. David, ah. let him go. Uh, fuck you. That's right, bitch. Ow. We gotta think about Carl and Charlie and- Hell no! Who the fuck is Charlie? A cop. A cop? David. A fucking cop? Are you insane? No, we gotta think out. about- He's not gonna find out! We don't have time! No, let's just call a fucking cop. That'll be great. Yeah, great. <laughs> fuck you. I just texted Charlie, he's on his way. Oh, shit. Knock, knock. Ah! Ah! Fuck, 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 fuck,
if you just take the shit, we'll run this whole big slide. How uh, very Christian of you. You give yourself up with the gold and maybe. So it's a stalemate? Show me evidence? I didn't want to bring you into this, but we do need your help. To protect and serve, now's your chance. Why don't you just give it back to him? We tried that, didn't work, they want blood. Whose blood? His blood. My blood. Who the hell are you? My brother, Ben. Annie, you didn't tell me you have a brother. I know. Not funny, she didn't tell me she was dating a fucking cop either. No offense. Yeah, none taken. Look, Chuck, can I call you Chuck? You sit there and be the fuck quiet. I think that we You should. too, the grown-ups are talking. Charlie, please, we need your help. Look, I'm here, aren't I? Just give me a second. You good? Got a plan. A rough one. You, Ben, and David take this shit to Bill. Kyle and I will stay here. David's already prepared him for what's coming. He's willing to pay cash for gold. Look, if it were any other men, I'd say, yeah, it might work. But you got the McLeod brothers after you. Wyatt and Jesse, are you sure? California. It was their truck. Oh, shit. Who the hell are the McLeods? Bad news. I don't care who it is. I'm not leaving you here with Kyle when bullets are flying. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Bad news? So what if they shoot us the second we walk out the door? <sighs> they won't. Why not? They want to make you suffer. That's not helping. You're not staying alone with that idiot. Where is that idiot? See you tomorrow. As soon as the light hits, take the kid to the station. Pick up some supplies for tomorrow. We need to be ready. Just go to Bill's now and get the cash. He's at a gun show in Canyon City. He won't be back till morning. Fuck. What about Kyle? We can't just leave him with those bastards. It's not gonna happen. <sighs> what? I agree with David. You fucking pig. Annie? Don't look at me. Fuck Kyle. Screw you. You're all fucking heartless. You go look for him. Nobody's stopping you. Fine, I will. Ben! So now you want to go be a hero? You might as well put two bullets in your own skull. If you go after him, you're as good as dead. I have to be a quick shot to get two bullets in my own head. People are dead, Ben. They tried to kill us. We didn't sign up for this shit. I never forced you into this, okay? You didn't stick to the plan. But you never do, do you? You just stay in my life long enough to put me through shit, and then you leave me to clean the mess. What's family for? That's right. You never had a chance, did you? We were fucked from the get-go. You, though, you followed his footprints pretty fucking close. Don't ever compare me to Dad, all right? He's a fucking piece of shit. You're proving my point, Ben. As far as I can see, you're his spitting fucking image. Take a look in the fucking mirror, sis, okay? I mean, this whole G.I. Jane hairy armpit act, I mean, it's doing wonders of keeping everybody at a fucking distance. But I, how do you even deal with this shit? I mean, I can't even believe Charlie puts up with this shit. What the fuck? What the fuck? Get the fuck down! The same fucking spot, Annie. Don't talk about my fucking armpits! What? <laughs> <laughs> Ah, I guess you can be grateful you don't hit with a fistful of fucking quarters anymore. <laughs> Ugh, so we both agree Dad's a prick, huh? What's the deal with David? I mean, is he your way of dealing with daddy issues? <laughs> Jesus. You would say some stupid shit like that. David is nothing like Dad. Oh my God, Ann, it was a fucking joke, all right? But really, I mean, come on, does he have to be such a monumental prick all the time? 
When I met David, he was two hours away from putting a gun in his mouth. His daughter died in a car crash three months before he ended up in my bar. He was driving. Fell asleep at the wheel. All right, I take back what I said. He's not a fucking prick. Still an asshole, though. He's scared. So am I. Come on, you, Annie, scared? We're in serious shit here. I know. I know. Okay, so we need to stick together. I got your back, you got mine. About Kyle. If you want to go after him, I'm in. We just got to do it together. With an actual plan. Maybe a gun or two. He's probably at the hotel room with a face full of blow. I swear to fucking God, that's their plan. You expect me to believe you just gave them all up just like that? <laughs> so you'll let me go? I'd say that's a negative. We're gonna kill you. <laughs> you know the last time I saw a man look this terrified? The night Jesse here killed our father. He's a womanizer, a father. One night he brought home what I'm pretty damn sure was an angel. Auburn hair, gorgeous face, kind, measurably kind. Dad got drunk, like he did every night. Jesse and I just watched as his anger got the best of him and he put her into a wall. You ever hear a neck snap? It's quieter than you'd think. Dad looked over at us and smiled. That cocksucker smiled. Jesse here couldn't take it. Something in his little brain broke. He grabbed a kitchen knife and charged the old man. He buried that blade so deep in our father's chest, King Arthur couldn't have pulled that fucker out. We just sat there and watched as our father died. Fearful. Like a fucking animal. You're gonna die today. Most men don't know when that particular guarantee is gonna happen. I best start praying. God's the only one listening now. I found a pack in my office. I ain't judging. You could have been sipping whiskey watching the sun bounce off Granite Peak right about now. You asking me if I regret anything? I know you don't. What's wrong? <sighs> Nothing. I... David. Killed men in two different wars, Annie. I watched some of my best friends die in the process. I just don't know if I'm strong enough. We're getting out of this, you and me. 
but not until those backwoods fucks have six feet of earth between us and them. Yo, what's with the snow? It's a cold town, man. I get it why you came back. I do. Why? Any. Oh. You know, the first time I was called out to the bar was for a couple of drunks. So I walk in, she looks up at me with those eyes just blue and perfect. Well, I was struck. Yeah, uh, blue eyes are the worst. Yeah. Ah! You fucked up. The squirrely one gave you up. He always was a wheezy little shit. Ah! Ah! Get the fuck away ah! from me! Damn! I always heard you were a firecracker. More like a goddamn 357. I suspect this was done in self-defense. Yeah, it looked like self-inflicted wounds to me. He, he's still breathing. She wouldn't let me finish the job. Why the hell not? We may need him as a hostage. Uh, collateral. Uh, collateral? Don't say the H word. You guys get to Bill so we can get the fuck out of here? Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go. You two go. Bill doesn't know them. You have to go. I'm not leaving you again. End of discussion. David, it's fine. I, I got can't it. leave you alone with him. If you want me to get out of this, then you have to Kiddo. go. Jesus Christ, David, you're not my fucking father. Now you're wasting time. Go. Fine. I'll go. But Charlie stays. If this thing gets fucked. Clear out that cash drawer and you get out of town. Nephew got it. When'd you get me for Hanukkah? <sighs> I skipped church for you cocksuckers. <laughs> this shit better be worth it. Wipe your feet. You staying busy? Couple things to do around here. What's that? Hunting fuck. What you hunting? Something to fuck. <laughs> this is my nephew. Nephew? Yeah. Nah, you don't look like he comes from your blood. Little fucker looks like he just escaped from Egypt. It's my sister's kids. Dad's a heeb. A heeb? Yeah. I figured. How many Israelites does it take to turn a dime into a dollar? One. She's got big hands. <laughs> I 
I got no problem with your people. Come on in. Big hands. <laughs> You hear about that shooting at the waffle joint? Two boys go in there toting shotguns. Tell the cashier, give them all the money that's in the register. It's a goddamn waffle joint. Should be easy money. But then the waffle cook rounds the corner with a fucking Uzi and unloads. Why, there were more spent shells on the floor of that place than cockroaches. Those boys made a decision without knowing all the potential outcomes, and it cost them their lives. Now, I'm in this with you both till the end, don't get me wrong. I just already been thumped on the skull due to carelessness. I need to know how many cooks are in the kitchen. and what they're cooking with. All right then. Been a long time since I shot at something breathing. You ever see the movie Heat? Looks real. How's that cabin of yours coming along, David? Wyoming? No, it's Montana. It's a long damn drive, and I just don't have the time of day to drag my ass up there. Life's too short, you should know that. Yeah, I'm beginning to realize that. Well, boys, looks like you got some grade A shit here. But you can't be sure until you test it. Mmm. <laughs> Tastes like cheddar. Yep. What are we looking at? Cash or coin? Cash. Do I need to know where this comes from? No. Well then, 350. Leave it. Come on. Fuck old man. You gotta get something straight. I don't give two shits about you or that gold. I'm in this for him. Unless you've got this second now, I'm fixing it. You've got a We cool? Yeah, we're cool. Good. Where were we? Cash. 350. Deal. I only got 20s. You.
And I always thought there were three vastly different types of family. Group one, see maybe once in your life, barely qualify as family. Group two, those are the ones you take a bullet for. The ones you love forever. And then there's group three. The ones you'd put a bullet in personally. Now, my brother and my cousin, group number two. No question. Now, I don't presume to know you. But that brother of yours, him I know. I'd firmly plant his ass in group number three. Which means, when you see him again, put a bullet in him. Because if you don't, that bullet will come all the way back around to you. <laughs> There's a reckoning coming. <laughs> You fucked with group number two. <laughs> oh shit! Get the gun! Back to the bar and get any out of town right now. I said go! No, you're outnumbered! Get out of here, Bill. Are you kidding me? I've been waiting my whole fucking life for this. Stay frosty. <laughs> Crazy fuck. Cock suckers! Suck up, bitches! You hear that? Yeah, and I. It's okay, we'll be fine. Go. Bill! Oh! Oh! Damn it! Go fuck yourself. What you smiling at? He's my last rites, Father. Sorry for my sins and all that shit. We clear? You head back, I'm right behind you. <coughs> God damn, I love that sound. You believe in hell? Let's go together, you son of a bitch. Ah! Ah!
gotta go, now. What? What happened? Where's David? Where's Charlie? He sped off toward the gunshots. What the hell happened? Shit! We got the cash, but bullets started flying as soon as we left the door. So you took the money and ran? No! David told me to come get you. We need to leave town. God damn you! <laughs> Fuck! Look, you can hate me for the rest of our lives, but right now we have to go. You're a fucking cliche. She's right. What did you just say, you inbred fuck? I said she's right, you greasy little hole plugger. <laughs> <laughs> Where are they? <clears throat> well, let's see. What time is it? What? Oh, yeah. You might want to check where all this started. Best hurry. My brother's not a patient man. Help me get him in the van. I was waiting in the undertow. Then I drifted with fed away like bone. Unaware of where my heart was so oh. I was waiting in the undertow David had a story he used to tell about a run-in he had with the cartel down in Arizona. He said he was face to face with death. And death told him it was his time to go. He didn't like that. Never been so easy. He pulled his pistol, looked death square in the face and said, fuck that. Have me south of home but I've been wrong before I was waiting in the undertow Said a trip to fed away the light bulb Unaware of where my heart was so I was waiting in the undertow Charlie, you okay? I'm all right. Where's David? Where's David? No. No, come on. Charlie. Fuck! I'm so sorry. Oh. You want him to die, motherfucker? Now you listen real fucking good. My brother's gonna walk that bag out and he's gonna set it down. When he does, you're gonna let Charlie come to me and then this pile of horse shit can come to you. Go, Ben. Go! I get it why you came back. I do. Why? Annie. Promise me one thing. If this goes to shit, you do whatever it takes to keep Annie safe. I will. I promise. I'm sorry. For everything. And I'm streaming on the
Sorry I lied to you. Cabin's been finished for years. But when I came back to town after she died, I met you and I saw her. It was like God was giving me another chance not to fuck it all up. I couldn't leave you. If we're not headed there together, don't cry for me, goddammit. I was ready to go. The land, the cabin, it's all yours now. Paper's already been filed. I know you already know this. But I love you, kiddo. 